Hey, it's Dave with Social Expression today with a question from a reader on how long does it take to overcome social anxiety? Going to answer that today for you. Hey guys, David from Social Expression with a question from Joellen. Joellen asks, hi David, how long does it take to overcome social anxiety? Have you seen any patterns with people you work with? Regards. Thanks Joellen, great question. So how long does it take? Well, the simple answer is it takes as long as it takes you on your path and as long as you're willing to stay committed and do the work. I know that's not an answer that you want in terms of a time frame, but that's the truth, okay? Your commitment, your dedication, in order to uh, not only do the work on the mind and do stuff at home, but you gotta go out, you gotta connect, you gotta practice, you gotta meet with people, okay? You gotta do that. Now, um, I've seen it happen uh, pretty rapidly where people make progress really quick within months that I've worked with, and I've seen it happen within a year, two years. They've taken more of my courses as as far as me as a coach. Um, I've had people on my email list that never took anything with me and said, hey, thanks for your emails. I even have a testimonial that I'm really proud of of somebody said, I'm unsubscribing because I got past this and your emails and videos helped. It depends on the person, and what I will say is that it depends on the level of resistance you have to the information, to the coach, to the therapist, to whoever, okay? So the more you resist what I tell you in these videos, the books you read, the courses you take, the coaching you get, the mentoring, the therapy, whatever you want to say, the harder it's going to be. If you're an open conduit, a vessel kind of, if you have an open mind and you're open about this stuff and just say, okay. I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust the process, I'll trust you, the easier it will be. Now you have to really do that. You can't just say it, oh, I'll trust it, and then inside go. You have to really trust it. It will happen so much faster. But that internal resistance and that mental resistance you've got to really, really work through, okay? So that's a pattern I see. The more open people are and they just allow me to coach them when I work with them, or they allow the information to help them and really take it in and go, okay, like, He's not saying this in a vacuum. And the more that you argue with how you're right and how I'm wrong and how, oh, I can't do that or that's not me, the longer it's going to take, my friend. Okay? So that's really my advice. So if you resist what I'm saying now, it's going to it's gonna fuck with you. It's going to harm you. It's going to um, slow down your progress. And look, it, it na it's natural that it happens. I do that. My mind fights stuff. I do that. But what I realize too, especially when it, in, in terms of other ways I've grown, the more that I just go, okay, and take it all in, and then I can discard what doesn't really work for me, but as I'm learning, is to come from beginner's mind. So you gotta come from beginner's mind. And then you can take it in and then naturally it'll integrate and naturally progress and build the confidence and social skills and have way better results. And if you're constantly arguing and resisting, I have clients that fight me, and I try to tell them that, and, and they fight me on that. And so what can I do but say, okay, all I can tell you is the more that you fight me, the worse this is going to go for you. And it's up to you. So it's your choice. You have free will. It's your choice in the end. Realize that. And you're making the choice every time you fight and resist. You're making a choice. The same as when you have your negative social anxiety thoughts. You're fighting and resisting. And, but that's a choice. And see, that's powerful. You've got to see that. It's not happening in a vacuum. You start to get control when you see that you actually do have choice over what you think which is gonna affect how you feel and your levels of anxiety, okay? That you have active choice. So, great question, thanks for that, Joellen. And if you're watching this video, leave a comment and question, I always get back, and I love getting back to you guys, I love seeing your responses and trying to help through those as well. And until next video, I am complete. Hey, if you like this video and want more tips and strategies on how to overcome your shyness, social anxiety, self-doubt and really build the confidence in your social skills, conversational skills as much as you can, up to the best you can be so you can have the career success, the social circles and friends, the dating life that you want, all that and more, subscribe to the Social Expression channel by clicking on the subscribe button and check out the other videos here that are on offer. This channel is all about helping you be the best guy that you can, like I've done for myself and I really want you guys to succeed, so keep watching.